Hello everyone, this is Film Story. How are you? In this video, I'll be sharing my experiences with Sony A7C. Why A7C when FX30 just came out in a similar price range? Well, I think A7C still has its place and role to play in the Sony ecosystem. My primary camera right now is FX6 or FX3 depending on the type of the shoot and A7S3 as my second camera. A7C is often used as the third cam or as my photo camera for behind the scenes capture. But you know, when I'm out with my family, A7C is always my go-to primary camera for its compact size and weight. Now let me tell you a few things I like about A7C. First, it's compact. It's so tiny and light. It is a full-frame camera, yet it's lighter than some of the APS-C cameras. So I would say it's suitable for travel, daily vlogs, and family photos and videos. Together with Sony's super lightweight lenses such as 24, 40, and 50 mini primes, 16 to 35 of power zoom lens, and newly released Tamron 2240 millimeter lens, it will be perfect for an everyday documentation and, of course, an excellent choice for a gimbal work. Second, it's capable. It's capable of many great things despite its size. Its 4K is superb. It takes up to 120 frames per second in full HD. It's excellent in low light situations and it does not have a 30 minute recording limit. I shot over 20 weddings with A7 III a few years ago and this guy a7C has the same image quality as A7 III. So yes, you can still bring this guy at your wedding shoot or any paid gigs and you will not disappoint your clients. I often used it as a C-cam for interviews and I can easily match its color with FX3 or 6. Moreover, it takes incredible photos. It is my primary photography camera. For me, 24 megapixels is plenty enough to play with. I'm always satisfied with its photo capability. The third point is more of an extension of the second point, being a capable camera. We see Sony A7C is an excellent choice for content creators. If you're a social media creator, A7C is a solid option. It can work as a primary studio camera or as a bird's eye view product shot camera. I've used it as a vertical camera for many recent shoots. If you want to upgrade from an APS-C camera, A7C is an excellent choice. Now, what about its downsides and how can you compare it with FX30? Here are a few things I don't like about A7C. The LCD screen is not so great. It does not have a full HDMI port. It only has a single SD card slot. It cannot take 4K60. It can only take 8-bit video. Well, in that regard, FX30 is free of all those shortcomings, which makes it a better video camera. So if you take video more than photo then obviously i recommend to get the fx30 however if you are a photographer who occasionally takes videos or a hybrid shooter who creates social content or if you just want a smaller camera for your family and personal documenting purposes a7c will be a better choice and you will not regret it i recommend getting a used one if you can and get some compact lenses with it then you are all set to capture your precious memories with your loved ones and create impactful content thanks for watching everyone i'll see you soon in my next video